Hey everyone, the Flying Halucha here, and today we are going to be unboxing ReZero, the complete first season. Now, I did have ReZero in the past. I had uh, part one DVD, uh, sorry, part one Blu-ray and part two Blu-ray. Now, I bought them because I think they were like thirty or quid at the time. Uh, they were gone on like eBay for like thirty or quid, like. All the anime, I think, for around 28 or 30 or quid, and I didn't want to pay that for two parts because I'd end up paying, like, 50 quid for both, and I didn't want to do that. And then I think they had, like, an Easter sale or something, and uh, they they were, like, 14 99 each or something. So I got part one and part two Blu-ray. I sold my part one Blu-ray, and I got... Uh, well, you know my CEX uh, pickups... Do you remember when I picked up a uh, ReZero Part One Collector's Edition? Someone in the uh, in the uh, description said, "Oh, you do know there's a problem with the actual uh, quality of the Blu-ray, right?" I went, "What do you mean?" He said, "Well, the actual picture goes a bit weird. It yeah, it, it just goes all it goes all blurry and sort of it just the 1080p quality just starts going all weird and spazzing out. It's it's really strange, but uh." Yeah, apparently they were sending out replacement discs. I didn't actually, you know, email them to like two years later saying, can I get a replacement disc? And they're like, oh, uh, due to COVID, uh, we have a shortage of bloody blah. And they said, uh, we'll send you an email when we can. Uh, <clears throat> that three months later, I still have no email. So it's not likely that I'm going to get a replacement disc. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's It's a... Not going to matter anyway, because I sold my Part 1 Collector's Edition to uh, CX. They don't know there's something wrong with the disc. Uh, you know, you can play it, but yeah, the picture quality goes a bit off. But uh, it is is a picture of Part 1 and Part 2 and the box. Okay, so this is out of print. Uh, sort of like Sword Art Online and uh, Code Geass and... Um, uh, what's the other one? I think I had Demon Lord Dante. Uh, basically, part one would come with the box, like the limited edition box, and then part two would come separately. But uh, basically, part one and the box sold out, and then uh, I think part two sold out as well, and then they re-released part one, but without the box. So yeah, it's like if you go on eBay now, you can't find the box. And, yeah, it's like part two is gone everywhere. Or, like, part two of ReZero Season 1, you just cannot find it anywhere. You look on CX's website, they have standard uh, part one Blu-ray, standard part two Blu-ray, and they have collector's edition part one Blu-ray, but they don't have collector's edition part two Blu-ray. It's not even listed on the website, so not like you could even, you know... Sorry about that, I got a notification on my phone saying I had 20% battery, so... <laughs> Uh, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, ReZero, uh, Part 2 is basically, it's out of print everywhere. Um, no, not the standard Blu-rays, you can get them, like, literally everywhere. But Part 2 Collector's Edition is, you can't find it anywhere. Part 1, I think you can get for, like, 30, like, 40 quid. Uh, that's just Part 1 on its own, without the limited edition box it originally came with. Like I said, they sold the box and part one, as you can see in the in the picture. But then the box and part one sold out, and then they just they just sold part one separately. Sort of like my Sword Art Online, uh, what was it? Sword Art Online, uh, alternative Gun Gal Online. I've got part one and part two collector's edition, but originally part one came with a box, and then part two would go in with it. But yeah, as soon as the box is out of print, some stupid ass uh, seller called Singularity Anime was selling the box and both parts for a hundred and like twenty quid. I was like, screw that! I said, no one in their right mind is ever gonna pay for that. I told him that, uh, I messaged him that, and then he blocked me. So I can see the listing, but as soon as I go buy it now, just you know, test it out. And it says, uh, yeah, you cannot buy from this seller. I'm like, Ooh, stupid, pathetic seller. But, uh, yeah, it's a real shame that, yeah, I don't know. It would have been nice to have the box, but 
yeah, part one box you cannot get anywhere. Part two you cannot get anywhere. The only thing you can get is part one collector's edition. But uh, then again, the collector's edition, uh, yeah, the Blu-ray disc is pretty much, uh, it's faulty. Unless you, you know, you contacted all the anime and they sent you a replacement. But then again, that was like probably two or more years ago. So they're not exactly shipping, you know, replacement disc at this moment in time. So I was like, screw it. I sold my part one Blu-ray. I sold my part two Blu-ray. Uh, well, I sold my part one Blu-ray to get the collector's edition of part one. Uh, I sold my part two Blu-ray to get a, a voucher. And a, uh, my part one collector's edition to get a voucher. No, cash. I sold them both for cash. And then uh, this was like thirty three ninety nine on Amazon. It's like forty one ninety nine on all the anime. But uh, yeah, I paid like probably under 15 quid. Yeah, so I didn't pay thirty three ninety nine. I paid like just under fifteen quid because I, I sold my uh, part one and part two Blu ray for. Uh, yeah, I sold it for cash, so I get this cheaper. But anyway, let's unbox this. I got this shipped over from Amazon, brand new and sealed. The artwork is better than the artwork the collector editions. So yeah. All right, let's do this. Let's unbox it. Okay, so what I usually do is I keep the cellophane wrapping off. I mean, sorry, on. Oh, I ripped it a bit. <laughs> I ripped the cellophane wrapping off a bit. Damn. It still protects it slightly, but... See, I, I just went like that and ripped a bit of it. <laughs> but, yeah, it's just a cellophane wrapping to keep it keep it clean. But I, I did it mainly like that, so I could just... Take... The Blu-rays out and the booklet. The Blu-rays are pretty much identical to the standard Blu-rays. They're just... The only thing unique is the box and you get a booklet. This booklet is literally like... Like a complete copy of... Uh, the book you would get from the collector's edition. Because the collector's edition has a hardback booklet. How do you even... What the hell? Oh, I'm wrong. No, I'm wrong. The collector's edition actually has information, uh, whereas this booklet just has, like... Yeah, this booklet just has, like, art pictures, really, which is a shame, because I prefer booklets with information. Yeah. Shame. But, like I said, getting part one collector's edition with the hardback booklet... And and only to find out that the actual quality on the Blu-ray is faulty. Yeah, I mean, if you buy the collector's edition of part one, you're going to get the faulty Blu-ray. If you ask the, all the anime to send off a replacement, then you're going to have to wait a hell of a long time, and by then you'll probably have sold it anyway. But that's the booklet. Nothing special, but, you know, the artwork on the box pretty much makes up for that. So, as you see there... 32-page art booklet, uh, the little shorts, you know, techless opening and closing. Uh, it's just so irritating because you've got, like, a bunch of movies, you've got a bunch of specials, you've got season two that finished airing, like, a few months back. Uh, yeah, it's just, they can't do season one OVA, season two OVA in a movie. now. they have to have a bunch of movies, a bunch of se uh, specials, a bunch of chippy shit, you know. I haven't even watched RE0. I mean, I've just heard so much and people are hyping the hell out of it. But, uh... Yeah. I've got a lot of anime on my list to watch, so... I probably won't be watching this for quite a long time. But, uh... This is fairly new, this box set. I think it came in, like, 2020. Maybe late 2019. I'm pretty sure it's 2020. So. We've got 13 to 21 on that disc. 22 to 25 on that disc. <laughs> 10 to 12 on that disc. 1 to 8 on that disc. Yeah, pretty much identical to the standard Blu-rays. 
Just two standard Blu-rays in a limited edition box with a booklet. And that is that. Like I said, I sold my uh, part one Blu-ray. I sold my part two Blu-ray. I, 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 I sold my part one Blu-ray to get the collector's edition. Only to find out that collector's edition part one, the uh, Blu-ray was faulty. So then I sold it. Got the collector's edition part one, like I said. I sold that as well. And then I sold this as well. Sold them both for like cash. And then I got this for less because I, the cash, you know, that I got, I spent on this. But yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Probably won't be getting a season two unboxing until probably late next year or whatever. Because season two is really fairly new. But yeah. I hope to see you all sh oh, sorry. I hope to see you all soon in my next unboxing, which will possibly be Mushi Shi. Uh, or well, Eureka 7 Complete Collection I want to unbox because I recently got High Evolution the uh, first movie which is just one entire recap except the first like 10 minutes of the film is like extra scenes <clears throat> but yeah uh, I kind of wanted to unbox this next but as you can see I peeled the sticker off the CEX sticker as I, I went to CEX today and I I got these. Uh, I got a discount because I'm a member, and also uh, I used a voucher. That was thirty quid. I managed to get rid of the sticky part that was on there, but I didn't pay thirty quid. I paid a lot less for it. Uh, and then this one, I peeled the sticker off, and it pretty much ripped the paper underneath it, as you can see, which is irritating. So I'm gonna go back to Uxbridge. Uh, Uxbridge, yeah. <laughs> That's the CEX I went to. It's really far from where I live anyway, so <laughs> not that close. I had to get a flipping bus a hell of a long way to get there, but yeah, it's real irritating the fact that it did that. They better refund me. I swear to God, they better refund me because I pulled the sticker off and it just ruined it. It's only cost 12 quid, but I want all my money back. I'm not going to get my full 12 quid, a quid because I use like a discount but, uh, with my membership, but yeah. Sorry if it's a bit blurry. Focus, damn it. There we go. So, yeah. Sort of looks like a yin yang, doesn't it? <laughs> sort of looks like a Pac Man eating like something, isn't it? Come on, focus, focus, focus. That'll do. But yeah, I wanted to unbox these like straight away, but unless I get the actual part two for this, it ain't gonna happen. You know, I need to send that back, get a, a refund, and then buy it again on CX's website. Anyway, I hope to see you all very soon. The Flying Halucha. See you in the next unboxing, which will be Elraka 7 Complete Collection. Shabbat bye. Oh, and, Mo and Mushishi coming up very soon. <laughs>